Okay, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you what the symmetrical lattice is. <clears throat> if you go up to the uh, Create menu up here on the top of the screen, you'll see all of your objects here. You've got your primitives and your terrain, your tree, your rock. Right here next to the rock is what's called a symmetrical lattice. So that's to where you get started. You click on there and you'll notice here why it's called that very organic looking almost it looks like a terrain but notice it's a mirror image of itself on either side uh, what can you do with that well that's a good question um, you can edit these as well so if you go to E for edit here you can see there it just looks like a terrain um, and here of course all of your uh, edit tools apply okay you can also you know, treat them the same way you treat a terrain here. You can bring this up. You can change things a little bit. You can grab your brush tool, of course. I'm just going to use the default here. And change your value. Again, darker values are lower elevations down toward the base. Lighter values are the higher elevations. Okay, so um, again, you can go in and Play around with that. Um, to add strength here, this is the strength of the brush here. And kind of change things up that way. Notice here we're changing things drastically there. Um, let's bring up the size of the brush. And we'll bring down the strength. And we'll just go across with it right there and bring some of those peaks down. And you can see how things are changing up there. Click there, you can see there it's a little bit different than it was. Rotate this thing on the z-axis here and take a look at it. And you get something that looks a little like that. So there you can see how I changed it up. Um, and notice here's some floating material up here. You can get rid of that too, just simply go back into your uh, terrain editor here and I can bring this value all the way down to the darkest level let's bring my brush size down and you can just eat that away so there you're just getting rid of it completely with the darker values you can shape it the way you want Just sort of clean things up if you're working on a sculptural kind of object for it. You know, other things you could do is you could add uh, some of these values too, also in there. Uh, for example, posterize. You can you can up that as well, and that'll add another dimension to your uh, object as well. Okay, now when you click on it. Just a little bit different there, and it's got a little different pattern. You could put a different uh, texture on it as well. Edit, and then just grab a texture that you like. Maybe a glass texture would look good on there. So maybe you want to make some glass-like sculptural objects, although that does significantly hide the uh, bumps in there. Let's try another one. Uh, let's do a metal, maybe. And so a metal, then you can see the contours a little better. Kind of has a cartoonish appearance. So that's one way you can go in and manipulate the uh, terrains. Now you can also make your own. So let's go back to create. Grab a uh, symmetrical lattice here. And instead of editing this lattice, I'm going to go to Edit, my Edit tab. And over here in the Editing Tools, I can click New. So just click on the bubble next to the word New. And now in here, I can draw my own. So I'm going to go up, bring, some, bring this slider up to the lighter values. Uh, I like the low strength of my brush, and then just grab my brush up here. 
Default's good. And here I can make my own. So let's go ahead and just make something interesting. Okay, and you can see it right there. Nothing too interesting, but let's add maybe some darker value in there. Let's bring this down a ways. Uh, brush strength's good still. Let's keep it feathered, and we'll bring the size down too. Uh, right there is good. Okay, and we'll put some rings in it. So you, it's fun. You can create your own and create some different patterns here. Okay, so I'm just creating a new design here. So you can make your own, especially if you're doing artistic type sculptures for this project. And let's take a look at this. Hold down control on my Z axis and rotate that. Rotate that over and let's, let's go ahead and uh, zoom it in as well. And make it a little bit larger and this is what it ends up looking like just so just by drawing my own I've created something that looks somewhat artistic that could be a sculpture um, and then we could put uh, you can use that texture you can use another one maybe it's a stone sculpture right so you could use a stone here let's try rogue snow and so that's couple ways you can use this symmetrical lattice and the terrain editor to create your own objects and they take on a much more organic shape than uh, just your regular primitives so you can use that to create more organic forms